Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade and this is the weekend edition. This weekend edition video is good through Sunday, January 27th, 2013. Set the ground running on Friday. The markets close bullish yet again. The S&P up more than a half a percent. The Dow up the same. Nasdaq up 0.6 percent, and the Russell's up 0.56 percent. Banks down, lagging the broad markets all day long on Friday. So relative weakness, as far as the financials are concerned, markets are only as strong as the financials. VIX also climbing higher. That's the fear indicator, up almost 1.6 percent, knocking at the door of 13. Commodities off on Friday. We have gold off by half a percent, silver off by 1.44 percent, crude oil at nearly break even, slightly higher, and then you had the U.S. dollar down by 0.23 percent. All you grok grads, trend is at 0.59, very extended to the upside. And taking a look at the S&P daily, what you will notice here. We had a tremendous rise. Matter of fact, the S&P 500 has logged its best week since, get this, 2004. This is an extremely bullish week we've had here. Nice rally. But if you'll notice here, we have a tweezer top. With a tweezer top, that can be a significant reversal pattern if and only if we go lower than Friday's low. And Friday's low here puts us around, so we need to go lower than 14. 1994. If we can get a close, 1493 or lower, that could be the start of a down leg. After all, we are due for that. We have one little pop here, and then a sideways step for about five bars. Then we step up one, two, three, four, five, and six, which is the statistical average for an up leg and an up trend. And anytime you get a reversal pattern, such as a tweezer top, you certainly want to make sure your stop losses are in place. I did add another line here. You'll notice I have a new line. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Now you'll see that it hit that resistance line. And that is what we're at now. Also, take a look at the weekly. Now, check this out. I want you to pay special attention to this. We have resistance, major resistance going back to the beginning of 2012, right here to October 2012. And that is where we're at right now. We're almost ready to get up to that area here. So watch that area as being major resistance. Again, a nice rally. Last month has been just, um, just stellar. If you go here to a monthly chart, you'll see this big big pop here we had this little base now it's a pop um, and we have a close now over 1500 so we're at 1502 almost 1503 here not too bad we do have resistance coming over here so there's a lot of resistance um, ahead of us so we will be watching that and let me show you something here in the middle of this before I get into some other charts I want you to see something on, on finance. So for the week, financials was in the bottom half. They were up 1.4, uh, but you'll see th that percentage um, lag compared to the others. For the month here, you'll see it's kind of in the middle upper part for the month. But the three months, we were second from being the strongest. So what we're seeing here is financials going from second position down to fourth. Now we're down here in the fifth, sixth category. So we're seeing a, a definite drop taking place here. So let's be keeping an eye on the broad markets as a whole. Oh, and before I get into a bunch of other charts, I do want to tell you, if you are a day trader or a very serious swing trader, I am doing something that I haven't done in two years. This is a very exclusive event that I will be doing on Monday, Monday night. And I'll give you more details at the end, but it's about market internals. And it, to give you an idea, we get into the tick, we get into the trend, we get into the banks, we get into the VIX, we get into the market internals, and I show you how to read them correctly to better your chances in market timing on day trading and also serious swing trading. All right, take a look here at the NASDAQ. Now, check this out. NASDAQ just squirrely. Look at all these gaps. We gap down, gap down, gap up, gap up. Just very, very gappy. Choppy, choppy increase, though. We still, we're going higher, but 
wow, with Google coming out with earnings and beating and with Apple coming out and missing, I mean, we've been all over the place. What's interesting is with Apple's miss, the market's still being bullish. You know, we wonder if Apple's good, nothing more than uh, what Microsoft used to be. And are they are they on the same path? Microsoft used to be the stellar stock of them all and until it now hovers around the $30 mark and just chops around. I wonder if Apple has the same fate. Hard telling. But anyways, take a look at banks. We've been talking about banks. Here's the daily banks here. We popped up. But see this little drawback? I'm not too worried about it. It's a high base. This could break out, but it's something that we're just watching. Um, I like that we're above all major moving averages here. If you look at the weekly chart, here's the problem. On the banks, you have a rising wedge, more bearish than it is bullish, and you have a bearish divergence on the MACD. And check this out, we're coming to a resistance point. That is the big problem here, again. We've had this big run, so we are expecting some sort of pullback sometime soon. If you look at the monthly chart, you'll see kind of a base and a pop. That's actually promising more of a run. But see this major resistance that we had here? We hit our head and then crashed and burned. We found a little support here with this hammer, but then it broke down below it. If you go back here further, a little support. But we're coming to that 2,000 mark, and we're knocking at that door right now. That should act as resistance. Now, while we're here, let's also take a look at the VIX. The VIX monthly, we've seen some extraordinary lows. Here, you'll see that we came down here and hit these lows going back several years. And now we've kind of popped back up a little bit. That's on the monthly chart, every bar a month. Now, here's the weekly chart. You'll see this. On the weekly chart, we have a tweezer bottom on the VIX. It's telling me if we make a higher high, especially if we get over this 1380 on the VIX, I'm telling you, gang, if it starts to get over that and get a close over that, that will be a trend reversal. We kind of have a double bottom here, or not a double bottom, but a, a tweezer bottom, they pop, tweezer bottom, they pop, tweezer bottom, pop, oh, not quite a tweezer bottom, but a tweezer bottom, pop. That's what I'm looking for. They're big time resistance areas. And that's what we're at. All right, let's take a look at gold. For you gold bugs out there, what's interesting with gold here, it could be a buying opportunity. You see this big run, 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 hit the 50-day moving average. we have now down at a major trend line. This goes back to, this puts us in uh, 2011 here. And this is a, on a daily chart, 2011. Down, and now we're over here in 2012 time. And now we're here, 2013, and this area is a support area. So I expect there to be buying taking place here sometime fairly soon. So be watching that. If you go to the weekly chart here on gold, um, the, the problem that I don't like on gold is it looks like we have broken a major resistance area. And if we go way, 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 way back down here to 2008, and we bring this higher, a little support here, support here. We're on the wrong side of that. We did close below it. We have the 100 week moving average that could act as support. Something to watch for. But it has dropped, but the volume wasn't that much on the weekly chart. Let's take a look at Google. It's all over the news. And share this in your Google threads around. But check this out. Um, we, we have this resistance line. Let me show it to you. Resistance, 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 resistance. We tagged it and dropped, tagged it and drop again. Major resistance right here, almost a tweezer type top, and then almost a shooting star type reversal pattern. Be watching Google, it might be ready to give us a little pullback. If you look at the weekly chart, you'll see this popped up and big pop here on some nice volume, but we have major resistance coming up on Google. And while we're here, let's take a look at Apple. Everyone's interested in Apple on the week. Just a bloodbath on huge volume. Let's go over here to the daily. Lower high, lower low. Don't touch that. There's no reversal pattern. Nothing here to say, hey, let's look for a, a trade. Even though there's a lot of people right now looking to get into this thing, way too early. That's a gamble at best. So certainly uh, do not uh, do that. Now, Facebook is at a resistance point. We're coming right up here to this 32 mark. 32. Look for a double top and then a drop. Watch this lower trend line. This is huge support. Support, if that gets violated, look for a drop to the downside. It needs to come up here and at least consolidate and hug 32 for a while and then maybe get a pop. But look at the trajectory of this. Nice little pop. We're, this one is not so steep. Let me show this to you. We have this angle. 
Now we have this angle. You can see trajectory. It's rolling over. It's not as strong. So for it to get here, it needs to go up a couple more bars, hit, and then if it drops, there's your double top. I know it's a little more advanced, but anyway, there we are. Let me give you a little bit of information. Um, thanks first for sharing us with your trading communities that are out there. We sincerely appreciate it especially um, you guys in Elite Trader and you guys at Trade to Win. We really appreciate you guys' links that you put in there and um, share. And also Scott Trade and uh, there, there's so many um, groups that are have wonderful chat rooms and all. Thank you. But anyway, let me share this with you. This Monday I'm going to give you a $50 discount and here's your special code. Your special code is uh, simply um, f f 5 Grok Star. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You get signed up for Monday's class. If you can't make it, it's all right. Long as you get registered, I will make sure you get a recording. But this is a premium course. This is not a freebie. This is an advanced online course on on the internals. Okay, this is on the market internals, and we're going to make those complexities easy. But uh, make sure that you get signed up. It's for this Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So that is 6 p.m. Pacific time. If you can't make it, that's fine because I will make sure that everybody gets registered will in fact get a recording of this. But it's going to be around two hours long and it's a ton of information and you are going to be very, very thankful for going through this course. Listen, it's only 147 bucks, but use this code 5GROCKSTAR. Make sure it's all caps. Make sure there's no space. That will give you fifty dollars off, so only ninety-seven dollars for this course. Anyway, just click this link, and when you click that link, that will sign you up. So again, go right here to upcoming events, market internals made easy. When you click that, you will get this page. Make sure you put this code in. Click that link, and you're good to go. Hey, right now while you're thinking about it, go get signed up and share this video with a friend. Take care and very safe and productive trading to you this coming week.